the issue of revenge, even after I lost my brother, he was killed by the Israeli army in 2000. I was wounded also by settlers. I paid high prices to go for physical legitimate action because people will tell you it's the freedom fight. It's moral, it's legitimate. Someone occupy your land, so you fight back. But things are not easy this way. Things are much complicated than that. On the other hand, what I want to say that the best revenge of the occupation is to celebrate our existence as victims, not to become victims of the system. By adopting nonviolence, my life has a meaning because I can easily revenge or kill someone or get killed. And that's it. This will be the end of the story. But I don't want my dream to end. I don't want my identity to be buried. And I don't want to be labeled as a terrorist. And finally, I don't want to kill people. I don't want to be a victim of anyone and I don't want to be a victimizer. This is the high level of nonviolence. And nonviolence is the best bridge to your freedom, to your rights. Because just there, during the process, you start practicing the dream and building a state. So it will not take us so much to heal after that because we already in the process. That's my hope.